What's up guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. I know there's all kinds of different videos out there you could be watching, so I certainly appreciate you being here and watching another one of my episodes. I've started to share a lot more recently, and I've been doing this a long time now, fishing as a pro, and there's just a lot of knowledge I've gained over the years. I have the privilege to work with Berkeley, so a lot of new baits uh, that we're gonna be sharing with you too, and just all kinds of different stuff. We're gonna be all over the board, but I also wanna hear what you guys wanna see. Please leave a comment down below uh, if there's a video or idea that you would like me to make a video about and talk about. Certainly want to see that. I'm going to put together a little list. I can't say that I'll be able to make a video on everything that's commented down below, but I'll do my best for the ones that make sense uh, for me to talk about to try and make some videos on there. So please leave a comment below with what you want to see. Now today, this is... Uh, this has got to be one of the most simple tips. One of the ones I wish I would have made a lot sooner because I did it three years ago and I'm like, I sit back and I'm like, I can't believe I did this for so long. Using these things for so long and the amount of frustration I had, the amount of uh, time that I probably wasted, you know, not like mega amounts of time, but definitely time and more than anything, the frustration. And, uh, it's such a simple deal, guys. So I'm gonna show it to you guys without going any further. It's in the rod box, and it is these neoprene covers from all different kinds of companies. Like I said, I'm not sponsored by anybody that makes these. I had to go out and buy them. They're only a couple dollars more, or a few dollars more than these guys right here. These are a nightmare. Like these are the worst things I've ever seen. They are fine. If you're a co-angler and you put your rods over here and you know you're they stay up above your reels not down by the baits these things are going to be fine so they are great for co-angler or like me over here on the wall you can see these are ones that i travel with so i'll put them in the rod tubes on top of my truck or put them in the passenger seat but i will never ever ever again put them in here because I've been using these now three years and not one time, no matter how many rods I have in here at a time, sometimes 25 or 30 rigged rods ready to go. Not one time, no matter how many rods I've had in here, like I said, no matter how many treble hook baits, have I ever got a hook past the barb in one of these things. The one thing I do is I take out the rod tubes that come in this boat and most rod lockers have them in a boat. I take those out, but I leave the butt in here so I can lift up the back end of the rods, get them off the bottom. So they're not just all laying on top of each other. I'm fine if they're laying on top of each other, you know, this direction, but over here, I want a little bit of separation from them. So you guys have to know what I'm talking about. If you've ever been in rough water, all your rods are bouncing in here and you come and open it up, you get to your first spot or, you know, you, make a move throughout the day and you got some other rods in here somehow these baits magically they just come off like no matter what you do no matter how many times you wrap the line around your rod uh how good you think you have them attached to the reel or to the hook hanger on the rod those things figure out a way to get off and these neoprene covers they'll just save you so much headache guys trust me i wish i would have done this years and years ago I feel like for the money, it's the best investment you can make for saving yourself that frustration. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, short one, quick one, but a great tip that I feel like if you make the switch, if you get rid of these guys for good, don't even use them ever again. Just start buying neoprene, switch them out one at a time. And neoprene's neoprene. I don't think the brand really matters. I'll put the Tackle Warehouse ones below because I started using those and they're great i think they're really they got a good price on them but i'll put that link down below but just start switching when you buy a new rod cover just get neoprene slowly fade the other ones out give them to your buddies or co-angler friends whatever but it's going to make a huge difference for you guys so i appreciate you watching today thank you very much and like i said leave a comment below if there's something you'd like me to talk about or make a video about and we're gonna go take the kids over to the state park for the afternoon Go have some fun let them explore around get dirty cooper my son found a snake the other day and picked it up so he's crazy bug man snake man he's into all that stuff anyways guys we'll see you later thanks for tuning in take care